Welcome to our tutorial on using GenAI Audio in Worlds, one of the most recent additions to our toolset. I'm Andy, and today we'll explore how to generate custom sound effects and ambient music directly within the desktop editor. In this video, we'll show you how to access the GenAI tools in the desktop editor, write some effective prompts, and set up your audio length and type. Then you'll be able to save what you create and add those sounds to your worlds. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to create unique audio that perfectly complements your world's visuals, theming, and interactive elements. This audio generation feature is a great addition to the world building and scripting techniques we've covered in other videos. GenAI refers to generative artificial intelligence. It's a technical term for any type of content made by an AI agent, usually using some kind of prompt written by a human. With GenAI audio generation in Worlds, you can speed up your creative process by letting the desktop editor do the hard work of making sounds for you. Instead of hunting for the perfect audio file, you simply describe what you want and add it directly to your world. So let's look at how to use GenAI in the desktop editor. Open any of your existing worlds or create a new one and look for the GenAI icon in the top bar. Click this icon to open the GenAI panel. When the panel opens, you'll see sample prompts and different categories for AI content generation. To begin creating audio, click on the speaker icon, which will prepare the AI tools to receive your sound prompts. Here are the steps to generate audio. First, you want to adjust the duration of the sound that you want. For sound effects, lengths can range from 1 second to 10 seconds. And for ambient sounds, lengths can range from 20 seconds to 120 seconds. Next, we're going to enter a descriptive prompt that specifies what we want to create. So in this rooftop racers world, I want to add some city sounds. I'm seeing a lot of cranes here, so I'm going to go ahead and ask it to generate some kind of construction sounds. And then I'm going to click Generate. I recommend keeping audio prompts short and direct. Even the same prompt will generate different values if you don't like the first one. So keep experimenting until you generate something you like. Then click the Generate button to start the process. After initiating the generation, the system will process your request. Generation time varies depending on your chosen settings and network availability. Short sounds typically generate multiple results very quickly, but longer ambient sounds usually produce just a single result and take a little bit more time to generate. Once results appear, you can complete several actions. You can preview the sounds by clicking on the play button. You can also provide feedback using the thumbs up and thumbs down icons, and that helps the algorithms improve. And you can refine your results by adjusting your prompt or entering a new one. Something like um, more drills in the construction sound. The GenAI panel organizes prompts and results in conversation. Each session is treated as a chat, which helps maintain context as you refine prompts. So you can view a history of your chat up here in the Open Chat History button. And this will give you all the sounds that you've asked it to generate today. To start a new chat session, you can click the pencil icon. Uh, that You can use that when you want to create something completely different. This organization helps you track your creative process and return to previous successful prompts. Once you've generated an audio result you like, you can save it for use in your world by clicking on the ellipsis, the three dots menu next to the audio file. You can choose to either save, the, save to asset library, um, which will save it automatically to the GenAI assets folder in your asset library, or you can choose to download it, which will download the sound as a WAV file and then you can do any kind of uh, post-production effects, or you can make tweaks to that sound and then re-import it into your asset library. I'm going to go ahead and save this to my asset library, and I should be able to see it appear in my Gen AI sounds. There we go. Once it's there, I can reorganize this by right-clicking that sound and selecting Move, and then I can move it to another folder. For example, if I have a shared folder, uh, that I'm sharing with a team that's working on this project, I could choose that folder there. To use your saved audio in your world, locate the audio file in your asset library, and then drag and drop it into the world. You can then configure the audio properties just like any other audio file in your world. You can do things like change the volume, change the pitch, and set distance parameters for the spatial audio. 
you can also configure other audio settings to match your creative vision. Once implemented, your custom generated audio will enhance the immersive experience of your world. There are some important limitations to be aware of when using Gen AI audio. The world's creation tools with Meta AI are currently available to users in specific countries for ages 13 and above. Availability may change over time. There are daily rate limits per user on content created using Meta AI. For audio generation specifically, there's a limit of 200 requests per day, and that includes both sound effects and ambient sound generation. To get the best results from Gen AI Audio, keep prompts concise and only use words that are relevant to the audio you want to create. Adjust the audio type and duration settings appropriately for your needs. Monitor the performance of audio playback through the performance tools to ensure your world runs smoothly. It's also worth providing feedback to the results using the thumbs up and thumbs down buttons, which helps to improve the algorithm and will yield better results for you over time. By generating custom sounds specific to your world's theme and aesthetic, you create a more cohesive and engaging experience for your players. We encourage you to experiment with different prompts to discover the range of sounds you can create. Try both sound effects and longer ambient tracks to enhance different aspects of your world and play with layers of audio by adding multiple sounds used using Gen AI to the same world. Also, watch the other videos in our Gen AI series to learn about additional automated creation tools. Start by identifying areas in your world where custom audio would enhance immersion and then create sounds specifically tailored to those moments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy playing with Gen AI sounds and creating immersive experiences, and I look forward to seeing you in Worlds.